DeepSeek is an AI model that makes huge hype in the recent days. Many people called it as a ChatGPT competitor, and probably they could be right. You could look at the DeepAI as an alternative to other AI models and see if you like it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it, how to use it online, and how to run it locally. As you could see, this model outperform almost everything that's available right now in the market. And it's open source. That's why it has a lot of hype. The main purpose of this AI model is designed to text generation, answering the questions, and even coding. And unlike uh, ChatGPT, the biggest selling points of this model is that you can run it locally, meaning you don't always need an internet connection. Let me quickly show you how to use it. As I mentioned, you have two options from their website or you can run it locally. The first option will be open their website, deepseek.com, then register. If you don't have account there yet, maybe it could be difficult because so many people want to use it right now due to the latest hype and news. But if you're lucky enough, you will be able to log in and try DeepSeek in action. As you could see, the interface is look similar to ChatGPT. All you need to do, start chatting with AI. Let me try my first question. I'm usually asking what is the latest version of iPhone, just to see what is the latest information it's know about. It could be really slow because a lot of people is using right now, but if you will be patient, you will have the chance to try it. As you could see, it takes some time. And let's explore the interface a little bit. At the bottom, you will see these two buttons. One will allow you to turn on R1 model. It is a thinking model that could highlight the reason why it choose different answers. And the search button will allow an AI model to do the search on the internet. You also could attach your files and ask questions based on your files. Okay, finally, I've got the answer. And the latest version of iPhone is 15 and it's wrong. And the reason for that is that AI model is not up to date. It has the data, but only before October 2023. But don't worry with the search functionality, you will be able to answer on this question correctly. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it now, but believe me, it's work. How to run DeepSeek locally. If some of you didn't have a chance to try this model locally, don't worry, I'll get you cover. All you need, open olama.com website and download Olama Runtime. It is available for Mac, Linux, or Windows. Copy the command and insert it into your terminal. You would need the curl application to run this command. If you don't have curl, you can install it first. Simply write sudo snap install curl. And after that, run the previous command. After Olama installed successfully, go back to the website, olama.com, and download the desired model. For our case, it's DeepSeek R1. There are many models available. I've chosen the one with 8 billion parameters. Just copy the line Olama run DeepSeek R1 8B and paste it into your terminal. Then wait for about five minutes, depend on the speed of your internet connection, and your model will be ready. Now you can use this terminal window to talk with the AI model. It's pretty fast and you can ask a bunch of questions without worrying about the internet connection. All the things will happen on your local environments. It's not the best way to use uh, AI model inside the terminal, so probably in the next video, I could show you how to use it uh, with the Docker container and with a web interface if you want. Let me know in the comments below. However, for now, you can use it inside the terminal. Once you turn off the model, for example, once you close the terminal, to run it again, just simply use the same command, olama run, deepseek r1, and hit the enter and then you can start communicate with AI model. Since the model already on your computer, the second run will be much faster because you don't need to download the model. And that's probably it for today. Share with me your 
feedback in the comments below. I'm quite curious if you had the chance to try it. And if you did, share with me how did you try it locally or online.